Hello and welcome. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the top three cybersecurity IT certifications. So if you want to get into cybersecurity with no college degree, or if you are looking for a career change and how can you get into cybersecurity, there are certain certifications that really can help you to make that jump into information security. Hi, if you don't know me by now, my name is Christoph Putz. I'm a 22 year IT veteran. I have worked my way through IT certifications, getting into help desk support and systems administration and systems engineering to become a senior IT manager. So despite of what you have heard, it is really possible to get into information security without a college degree. So these IT certifications that I'm going to talk about in this video are definitely a good option for you to get into information security. But don't think that just because there is no degree required that this is easy. No, those IT certifications that I'm going to talk about, they are very challenging. They require that you have some broad knowledge in information technology and then the more detailed knowledge in information security. So do not underestimate the challenge that comes with these certifications. However, if you pass these certifications and you land your first job and then start your career in information security, the payoff will be there. So jobs in information security are high paying, they are rewarding, they are challenging, they require creativity. It's really a great career to get into. So the top three cyber certifications are the CompTIA Security Plus, the CEH or Certified Ethical Hacker, and the CISSP certification, which stands for Certified Information System Security Professional. Quite a mouthful. So, but let's have a quick look here at these certifications, what they are, what they represent, and why they can get you into information security. So let's take a look at the CompTIA Security Plus certification first. I would consider it an entry level certification. It is certainly not just entry level to get into information technology. So there are other certifications that you want to look at. But if you want to get into information security, this is really a great certification because as you go through the training or the preparation for this exam, you will pick up a lot of that foundational knowledge. I would consider it entry level and I would not say that this is a certification by itself that will get you into information security. You want to potentially look at adding additional certifications and then really apply for open jobs in information security. Together with another certification like the CEH or the CISSP, the CompTIA Security Plus certification really has value. And as mentioned, that foundational knowledge is so critical. So I do consider the Security Plus certification by CompTIA a more entry level certification. It will give you that foundational knowledge in information security. But, and I mentioned the CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker certification and the CISSP certification as well. Of those two, I would say combine the Security Plus certification with the CISSP because it gives you a better value, a better understanding. The Certified Ethical Hacker certification is already very specific in a certain area. And I'm not sure if you are making a career change or are new to information technology, that this is the right step for you. So these are the top three certifications. But if you combine the Security Plus with the CISSP, you really position yourself for a great start in information security. So now let's have a look what the CISSP has to offer so that when you combine it with the Security Plus certification, you really have that value and that knowledge that you need to start your career. So the CISSP certification exam covers the following areas. You talk about security and risk management. You talk about asset security, security architecture and engineering. So developing secure information technology architecture is so critical. The CISSP certification exam also covers communication and network security. So sending secure email as an example, securing your network. Then they talk about identity and access management, user IDs, password, access to systems, multi-factor authentication, and, and, and. There's so much behind this area. And the exam will cover those topics in more detail. Then you have to be knowledgeable about security assessment and testing. You have to look at security operations and last but not least, writing secure code for software applications. So developing secure software applications is very, very critical because if the code is already bad right off the bat, it just creates a big disaster and headache for anyone who has to protect the digital assets and the data in those applications. So very, very critical. And this exam will go into details there. 
If you haven't, please check out my other videos related to information security, especially where I talk about the Certified Ethical Hacker certification. I will put a link into the video up here, but also in the description down below. That video will give you the exact details of what an ethical hacker really does. So these are the top three cybersecurity certifications. They are widely recognized in the field of not just information security, but in information technology in general. They are widely accepted even by the US government and NSA and Department of Defense. If you are not familiar with these certifications, if you do not have a deep growing technical background, but you really want to get into this field, I highly recommend you start with the CompTIA Security Plus certification, as it is the easiest and cheapest certification of these three. Then potentially add the CISSP certification and you should be good to go. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.